Okay. Hello everyone, my name is Jay Zhao. I'm one of the directors of Delos Labs, Well Living Lab. Um, today I'm going to talk about what is lighting and why lighting is more than just comfort. Okay, next slide. Um, this picture may hint you something. Uh, when we talk about lighting, we take it for granted. Lighting is just something in the house, you flip a switch, it gives you light. Or it's just sunshine, you uh, lay on, on the beach and uh, get tanned. But lighting is definitely more than that. Lighting is, has huge impact on human comfort, visual comfort, and also on human health. Uh, that's a hint right there. It has huge Im impact on, uh, on human sleep. So before we go into the details of uh, you know, what, how lighting impacts um, human health and comfort, we should talk about all the metrics to quantify lighting. Uh, the first one is luminous uh, flux. Uh, you can, if you pay attention, if you go to Home Depot or Lowe's, you, can, you buy a light bulb, you can see there's a lumen, lumen uh, number on each light bulb. That quantifies the total visible light emitted from a light source. That's the nature of the light bulb or the nature of the sun or the nature of any lamp. Uh, it's nothing to do with distance, with whether you look at it or not. It's the nature of the property. Another, uh, another matrix is illuminance. It's measured by lux. It's the amount of light reaching a surface uh, from a light source. Basically, you can see the light here, and that's the light you're measuring by lux. It's not, if you look at that, you see a glary thing, that's not lux. But if you look at this, that's the lux you're receiving from that light. Um, that's the, two of the most important metrics to quantify light. There are many others, but uh, for the purpose of this presentation, we only talk about these two. So what's the basic function of lighting? It's for us to see, right? We light a fire in thousands, hundreds of thousands of years ago to transform nighttime to be brighter. And uh, so that's the basic function of lighting is visual acuity. You need to be able to see things to be able to act daily, um, to do daily activities. One example would be in office, we require building standards, code and standards require 300 lux on your work plane. Uh, typically, it's this tall or maybe lower. Uh, that's the minimum lux you need on the surface of table for you guys, for everyone to see and read and type on the keyboards. Um, that's one of the example of a visual acuity. There are different standards for different types of work. For example, if you are in a drawing room for architects, uh, you definitely need higher level of lighting. There's a very interesting study done in a auto plant for work workers. Uh, the study shows if the light lux level is not enough, the, the uh, errors, the workers in the auto plant uh, will be increased. If you have too much light, it will also decrease, uh, uh, increase the error percentage, decrease the productivity. So that's a very important part of lighting. And we seem to know all of this, right? We, we know we need to turn on lights if it's too dark to read. Uh, the other thing about lighting is too much light. I'm standing here, those lights are directly shining to my eyes. I don't want to look at them directly because it feels glary and it feels uncomfortable. When people are talking about a visual comfort, mostly 90% of the time people are talking about glare. Um, there are two types of glare. One is caused just purely by too much, too strong light. For example, if you're standing under sunshine, you put your hand up, the lux you received on your hand, it can be as high 
as 100,000 lux. Uh, even if it's a cloudy day, it's partially cloudy day, the lux can be this much, 1,000 to 20,000 lux. Uh, that's a pure, um, pure amount of light that's too glary. Also, some electrical lighting, just like that, it's not as high as this, but it's high enough to cause you uh, uncomfortable. Uh, there's another type of glare, which is contrast. It's not about the amount of light that's too much. It's about you are in a dark room and a tiny bit of light. It could be just a light on your cell phone charger can cause glare because everything else is, is too dark. The contrast is also very important. So these two things we've been studied and we've known for years. Uh, many building standards, designers, architects, they know they need to do good design to prevent these. But more recently, we discovered light has a huge impact on human health, specifically on circadian treatment, on circadian rhythms of, of humans. To be more precise, it can cause, it can change your alertness. It can impact your sleep quality, how well you, can, you sleep at night, and it can change your digestions. Um, why, why do you want to have, uh, you know, how hungry you are, how, um, um, how, how's your digestive system uh, functions. Why is that? This is a very famous diagram of our eye structure. Um, basically, there are three major types of cells in our eye. That's, there are a lot of other types of cells, but three cells that's receiving light and receiving the wavelengths in different fashions. Uh, you have one type is called cones, rods, and IPRGCs. What, cones are things like these, looks like a cone, so it's called cones, and rods are the ones like Roth, right? So um, they have different functions. Um, some cells are responsible for, for um, night vision, meaning uh, during nighttime, these cells are more sensitive. And the other cells are responsible for daytime vision. Uh, it's very sensitive to green, blue, and red. RGB, red, green, and blue, those are the three colors the cells can distinguish. Um, it's very interesting, just a couple years ago, some researcher discovered some 12% of women in the world has a third type of cells can, can detect another set of colors. RGB plus another 99 more millions of uh, shades of colors women can de detect. 12% of women in the world can, can do that. That's the statistics. Um, but normal, normal is not a good word. Uh, majority of the people can only see, uh, can only detect red, blue, and green. Then our brain will mix those colors into the real colors we can see. Uh, those are the cells responsible for vision. IPRGCs, those cells are responsible for circadian, meaning the light you received, some cells will translate the light into your brain, say, hey, I can see those. Some will go to uh, IPRGC, and the, these cells will regulate your melatonin uh, levels, which will impact your circadian rhythm. Just as an example, this is a typical person's circadian. You get up in the morning, um, you go to, uh, you have some high blood pressure when you wake up, then you go to work, you have lunch, uh, you exercise in the afternoon, then you go to bed. So what should we do about lighting to help people maintain this healthy circadian? Um, the answer is nature, right? Uh, people's circadian rhythm is entwined 
by nature, by the sunlight and daylight. Notice the difference between sunlight and daylight. Sunlight is direct light from the sun. Daylight is even cloudy. Even look at the sky. The blue color uh, bright background is daylight. So the answer is during daytime, you should give people higher percentage of light to indoors to mimic what they should have received from outdoors, just like nature, just like we are in the nature. And during the sunset period, close to the afternoon, you should reduce, gradually reduce the light levels and hopefully mimicking the light color temperature to be more yellowy, to be more um, orange. And then during nighttime, the best way is to minimize the light, uh, minimize your entire indoor lighting. If you want to have a better sleep, also um, wavelengths. You know, light has a bunch of wavelengths. The wavelength of blue has the biggest impact on the circadian rhythm. So if you can find a way to minimize the blue light in your, in your bedroom or in your home during nighttime, that would be really helpful. So um, in one sentence, how to do a good lighting to guarantee your, guarantee is not, it's not uh, guaranteed, uh, <laughs> to help you achieve a better uh, circadian rhythm is to have drastic difference between daytime lighting and nighttime and minimize blue wavelengths during nighttime. I think that's it. Thank you very much.